Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMo. Today we have an interesting Olympiad mathematics problem. We have a to the 8th power minus a square all over a to the 4th power minus a square equal to 9. And we need to find our a. So on the first side, this question is really hard because we have huge power. We have 8th power, 4th four, power. So how can we solve it? As you can see right here from our denominator, we can factor out this a square. So let's do this at first. Let's factor out a square. So as a result, we will have a square. In parentheses, we will have a to the 6th power and minus 1. And in the other denominator, let's do the same step. We will have a square and in parentheses, we will have a square minus 1 equal to 9. If we multiply this, of course, it will have the same. Right here, we will add these powers and minus a square. So this will be the same. And it's a really good case. It's a really good moment to cancel this a square. So let's write our equation next. And let's multiply these both sides by a square minus 1. So cross multiplying. So as a result we'll have that a to the 6th power minus 1 equal to 9 times a square minus 1. So just square multiplying and cancel it this x square. And we have this equation. So what's we're going to do next? Let's write this a to the 6th power as a cube to the 2nd power. Or moreover, we can write this as a square to the third power and this one as minus one cube. So as you can see, this is a formula difference of cubes. We have one number cube and second number cube. So what will be the formula? What the formula it will be? We will have x cube minus y cube. It will be equal to x minus y and times x square plus xy and plus y square. But instead of this x and y, we have a square and we have 1. So as a result, we can use this formula. We can apply this formula right here. So let's go on the top. What we'll have? a square minus 1 times, times these parentheses, a square to the second power plus a square and plus 1. And equal to the right side, 9 times a square minus 1. And take a look. a square minus 1, a square minus 1. Of course, we can cancel this. And what we will have in the end? We will have an interesting equation. a square to the second power will have a to the fourth power plus a square. And I bring this 9 on the left. What we will have? We will have minus 8 equal to 0. And take a look. This is a classic equation, but instead of like a classic second and first power, we'll have fourth and second power. So let's use a substitution. So let this a square equal to t. And from here, a to the fourth power equal to t squared, just raising both sides to the second power. And t need to be greater than zero because we have fourth power. So what we're going to do in our case? Let's put all of these changes right here in our quadratic equation. So as a result, we'll have t squared plus t minus 8 equal to 0. Let's find our t1 and t first. This is a classic quadratic equation. What we'll have? t1 and second will be equal to. We all know a, b, c, d. I don't want to write it once more, but I write it right here. Minus 1 plus minus square root 1 plus 4 times 8, 32, and all over 2a, all over 2. This is our roots. But take a look, t need to be positive. And if we, if we write minus right here, we will have a negative root. If we write a plus, we will have a positive root. A positive root is exactly that we need. So our t will be equal to minus 1 plus square root of 33, all over this is our 2 t that we need. And let's go to our substitution. <coughs> Take a look. Where is our substitution? Our substitution is right here, a square equal to t. So right here we have t. We need our a, so we need to take a square root from both of the sides. So our final answer will be a equal to, and moreover, if we have square, we need to put plus minus right here, square root of minus 1 plus square root of 33 all over 2. And this will be our answer because we need answer is our a. This is our, our root, our answer. 
Of course, right here we will have complex roots because <coughs> we just reject negative ones. So this will be our real number root. This is our A. Really interesting problem. I hope you understand it. If you don't, I will be really interested to write your to write in a comment, write write interesting tricks how to solve it. Really interesting will be to read about your solution, how to solve it. And thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And see you in the next math problems.